Hey everyone, it's Joy here, and I am super excited to share the Tombstone Treats kit. And you guys, these little treat boxes are so cute. So in the kit, you're going to get the Treats to Die for clear stamps here, then the Creepy Companions die, the Point of No Return Tombstone dies, and then you will get 20 of these uh, Treats and Trinket Box pre-cuts from Licorice Cardstock. And then the add-ons are the Treats and Trinkets box die, which is this here. And then the Dead to Me foil at sheets. And then you can also purchase extra pre-cut Treats and Trinket boxes. So I'm also going to be using the Mandala, Mandala stencil, the Mini Strips birthday and the Mini Strips die, the Garden Variety stencil, or excuse me, dies, and then the inks are Cherry Pop, Granny Smith, Cupcake, Banana Cream Pie, Chocolate Truffle, and Earl Grey, some blender brushes, and Licorice, Earl Grey, and Cupcake cardstock. So I'm going to start off with a non-Halloween little treat box. So you can see that this really can be uh, versatile and you can use it for so many things. I am masking off, taping off the edges. This is essentially the front or the top of the box, depending on how you have it, if it's laying down or standing up. And I wanna add the stencil to this with just a little bit of Cherry Pop ink, a tiny bit of stenciling, and then this box will be really cute and decorated. So think that you could use this for birthdays, baby showers, uh, like a bridal shower, any kind of little get together, a tea party, and you could just decorate up these cute little boxes and just put fun little treats inside. So really you could use the treats and trinkets box die for anything. So now we have that stenciled, we can just fold this box on all of the score lines. And I wanna say that this box is super easy to put together. You only adding adhesive to one little tab this little thin piece here, and I'm gonna do some double-sided adhesive tape here because I really want it to hold well. Then you can just fold over the back largest piece and adhere that down, and everything else just folds and tucks into place. So really super easy to put this together, you guys. And then I have die cut from Sugar Cube cardstock flowers from the garden variety die set and i'm going to ink blend the two leaves that i die cut with granny smith ink the flowers will be with banana cream pie and the centers of the flowers will be with granny smith ink i wanted to add just a little something extra but if you are making a bunch of these you could just do the stenciling or die cut a bunch of flowers and just do a couple flowers. We're also going to add a sentiment to this, but you could leave it without a sentiment. There's so many ways that you can use this cute little treat box. Let me just finish ink blending these leaves just a little bit more, adding a little bit of shadow. And then I want to add that Granny Smith to the little centerpieces for the flowers. So I'm just using two flowers, a bigger one and a smaller one. We can glue those centers into place. And then in the Misty, I have the Mini Strips Birthday stamp set, and I'm going to ink that up with cupcake ink on sugar cube cardstock. And then using the coordinating Mini Strips die, I can die cut all of those sentiments at one time, which is really, really fabulous. And then you can just keep those in your stash for future projects. Let's adhere our flowers and our leaves onto this. I don't wanna cover up that stenciling because it's so pretty, but I do wanna add just a little something extra and then we can pop our sentiment right in the center and then you can fill this up with some goodies and it's so, so cute. So the next box we're gonna do is from the kit. We are going to do the tombstone and it is so cute and so fun and I think it'd be fantastic for a Halloween party. So this little die here is from the Point of No Return Tombstone dies, and I'm gonna stamp my sentiment on there from the Treats to Die For Clear Stamps, and I'm actually gonna use the uh, Chocolate Truffle ink, and the sentiment says Death by Chocolate, which I think is so fun because chocolate is my favorite. 
Then using some Earl Grey ink, I'm going to ink up the edges of that and the tombstone. There's two tombstones. So think about a Halloween party and how many of these you could make. And there's so many sentiments in the stamp set and in the um, add-on foilet sheets. So I think that's really, really awesome. The ghost is a die cut from the Creepy Companions die set and I just I cut him from sugar cube cardstock and then there's a little circle piece that you just adhere on the back and I did that from licorice cardstock and that will fill in for his eyes and his mouth which is really really cute we're gonna put together this little uh black tombstone or black box excuse me the licorice black licorice box here I'm gonna add a little bit of tape runner and liquid glue because I don't want the tombstone to come off of the front of the box. We can adhere that down and I thought I glued my um, ghost down but I did not so I need to tuck him in. Add a little bit of glue and tuck him in and then there's also a raven and a skull in that creepy companions die. So here are two little boxes, our two little treats and trinkets box and I think they turned out so super cute. I love them. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.